Hey guys, Chico here today. I'm back doing another review. This time it is on the Marvel Legends Sentinel from the HasLab series. And it's been over a year since people have been waiting for this, but it's now starting to finally show up at people's doors. So it is, it, it's great to finally have this. <laughs> like I've been excited for this, and honestly, it's, it's just a really cool figure. It's three feet tall. It's huge. It's a really nice Marvel Legends Sentinel, and I'm really glad they decided to go through with this. Um, and yeah, here he is standing. Obviously, I'm not at my regular review station uh, I'm next to my shelves and my the rest of my collection with the box back there So obviously I can't be at my table just because of how massive he is so I'm standing with the iPad uh, On a tripod and I am just standing here um, Reviewing this so yeah, like I said, it is huge. It's three feet tall got the giant box back here it Comes with a bunch of accessories and two little Marvel Legends figures um, So yeah before I get into anything with him Let me get onto the accessories the box and maybe the little figures all right, so here is the box packaging for the HasLab Sentinel. It is huge, as you can tell. Obviously, it has to store a three-foot figure, so the box is pretty, pretty big. Uh, so the art on this wraps around all four sides, which is really nice. I like that touch. On this side, you have Sentinels fighting X-Men, obviously. You have, like, uh, Cyclops right there with Phoenix, I think, Jean Grey. And then the giant Sentinel right here. This is one of my favorite sides. Or one of my more favorite sides, I would say. There's only four. But, yeah, I like this side a lot. It looks really nice. And then on the bottom, you have the X-Men logo with some Sentinel writing, I would think this is. I'm not entirely sure what that is. But uh, you have a Marvel Legends logo down there and a HasLab logo as well. And then on this side, you have, once again, X-Men fighting Sentinel-type things. You have Magneto up here. You got this Sentinel. I forgot what this one's called, but I'm pretty sure there's a figure being released of it, I think. And then you have this Professor X with this person. I'm not entirely sure who that is. Also really nice side. You got this side as well with Wolverine and one of the uh, other Sentinel people. And then you have the Master Mold right here with another Sentinel in the back with another one in the background as well. There's a lot of Sentinel on this packaging, as you can tell. I, I didn't even notice this one until now. Um, but yeah, you have this side. Same thing with the X-Men logos down there and the HasLab. All that stuff is just a repeat from the other side, except for the art. And then on this side, more Sentinels. <laughs> like I said, there's so many Sentinels on this packaging. It's really cool, honestly. Um, this would be a really nice thing to keep, but I know a lot of people don't really have the storage for this. But if you're a collector and was willing to get this, I would think you have the space. And then on the top, you have the X-Men logo. I had to flip it real quick, but here's the X-Men logo right there. And there is absolutely nothing on the bottom. That is the box. So let's get into the accessories and the Sentinel himself. Uh, so we are on the ground now. You see the Sentinel's legs back there. But before I get into the accessories of the Sentinel, let me get into these little figures real quick uh, that he comes with. So the Kickstarter campaign did come with other tiers. And part of those tiers were these little Marvel Legends figures. These regular size 6 inch ones. And these are pretty cool. Uh, I honestly don't know anything about them. But I know they're some kind of sentinel people droid things. So you got this girl one, you got this guy one, and this guy one comes with an extra head. And I believe this head is known to be Master Mold or something like that. And the regular drone looking one is this one. Something like that. I'm not entirely educated on the sentinel uh, story and all that. But yeah, these are these are cool. Uh, there's not much to their bodies. Just black, matte black all around with some detail towards the torso area. The male has... These little gold bars here on this side. The girl has nothing up until here. They both have this purple collar looking thing. The guy has uh, red there. So, yeah. They both have this gray technology type thing going on with their necks. And their head sculpts are vastly different, as you can tell, obviously. Uh, so this one. This one looks pretty cool. This one is, is, is pretty cool, too. My least favorite one out of the three, though, is this one. I don't really like this one, but this one's pretty cool. This one's pretty cool. Not much to them. Uh, nice attention to detail, though. Not much on the body. I wish there was more, but it's fine. I guess that's the detail of the characters from the comics. But, yeah, the head sculpts are pretty cool, though. I like this little addition of two six-inch figures. I'm not going to go over the articulation, as they're pretty basic in terms of Marvel Legends. Nothing too special, nothing too different from them. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to go over the articulation of those, but those are just nice to have. So in terms of accessories for the Sentinel himself, you have this extra hand, three other heads, and two of these tentacles. I'll start off with the hand over here. So you have this broken hand 
It looks really cool. Uh, it's the same thing as the other hands, but the fingers do not have articulation. I will get onto that later, but the only articulated thing on this hand would be the uh, wrist joint. So that's kind of neat, I guess. Uh, there's a ratchet joint in there, so that's that's cool. I, I've heard a lot about ratchet joints. I don't really know what the benefit of it is, I would think, so it doesn't come loose over time, maybe. Um, but yeah, it has a ratchet joint there. And then the whole hand is just a metallic purple with a little bit of uh, texture difference and then here you have like this broken repulsor type thing this is really cool got the broken fingers I really like how this is done uh, this was really creative by them I'm glad they didn't just stick with the regular sentinel I'm glad they decided to go with those uh, like tiers that they do for the HasLab so I, I really do think that's a really cool thing um, that they decided to do that um, but yeah you got the broken fingers really nice touches to them got like different broken pieces it's not just like copy paste it's like all unique and how they're broken so that's really nice you just can't move them and you don't really need to it's broken anyway it's like meant to be broken so you don't need to move them anyway so that's really cool this one you have the tri sentinel head um you got the silver face got the uh, destroying face maybe <laughs> and then this normal face i honestly don't know much about like the technical names for this stuff on the sentinel honestly so I'm going to sound a bit clueless, but it's okay. Um, I'm just here to review it and show off the product for you guys who are interested. So, yeah, you got the three different faces. These are really cool. Uh, this is really interesting. And to my knowledge, that is not, like, the right head for this body. I'm pretty sure the body of the real Tri-Sentinel is different. Um, but it's a really cool addition, nonetheless. And then here we have the battle-damaged head for the regular Sentinel. This I really like. I really like this one. Uh, honestly, you could use this for a, like a diorama piece if you want to just have it like laying on the floor like this. Like it, it, that could look cool, you know. And um, yeah, this is nice looking. I like all the detail put onto it, all the bail, battle damage put onto it with the wires being exposed on the top. Got the mouthpiece missing. Really nice. Got the um, dark part around the eyes as if it's been blown up. So that's really cool. Got some dents all around. So yeah, like I said, really nice additions to the Sentinel. And then you have the Master Mold Head, which is gigantic. It's huge. Uh, purple all around. I like this one. And each of the heads have um, clear eyes so that the light in the neck can shine through, obviously. So yeah, you'll see that later. Maybe. I honestly don't think I have the batteries for that right now. But either way, the lights can shine through the eyes. And even on the uh, Master Mold head here, it's the biggest one, so they gave it the most detail. Even in this part where you can't really see it since it's on the head, they added details to here. So that's really nice. This is very nicely done. Uh, so yeah, this is really cool. And then you have the tentacles, the Sentinel tentacles here. These are 18-inch long bendy wire tentacles i believe uh they're huge you can bend them however you want i like that they're bendy wire i'm glad they didn't just go with a stiff like thing and then one was just permanently bent some way like i'm just really glad they went with bendy wire there's nothing to it really in terms of paint it's just long bendy wire thing of gray plastic so that's really nice really good additions to the sentinel so uh let's get on to the actual sentinel himself and uh yeah Okay, so now that we've gone over the Sentinel accessories, let's get on to the actual Sentinel himself. Like I said, this thing is three feet tall. It is huge. Let me just pick it up for you guys real quick, just so you guys can see the whole thing. Uh, it is really cool. There's detail all around. Nothing has been missed in terms of attention to detail and paint or whatever. It's just all really nice. Uh, there's differences in texture all around this figure. It's not just one flat material. Let me show you guys. So... All around, you have this really nice metallic purple going. Obviously, it's a sentinel. Got the nice detail here in the back portion with the wires and everything. So, yeah, there's just so much to go over. Um, got the pink all around. This is really nice. Uh, got the head. Like I showed you guys earlier, there was a battle-damaged head. This is the regular head, obviously. He comes packaged with this one. And here is the light that you use to press to get the light features. Now, I do not have the the batteries for this right now unfortunately so i can't really show you guys in this review but to do that you just press here and it'll light up to take this head off though let me sh just show you guys something really quick to take it off um and replace the other heads you have this clear piece of plastic on the neck joint 
and the light will shine through. Now, obviously, you're not meant to see this, but uh, I have seen in other people's reviews that this neck joint can move. I have not done it yet. Yeah, so here, this neck piece can move. So obviously, the light will not shine through all around. So if you have a head on it, you have to make sure that the light you want will shine through the eyes. So you need to have it facing forward. Or if you just want one light uh, being lit up, then move it to the side. So you have to be mindful of that when posing this figure around with the light. Um, but like I said, I do not have that ability right now, unfortunately. So my apologies for that. Uh, but there is really nice detail in this neck portion here. They did not miss out on that. Uh, so that's really cool. Got wires all around. Even on the back piece of the neck. Got the tubes going. So that's really cool. And then speaking of the batteries though. I believe to put the batteries in. You just need to pop this back piece out. Yeah. So yeah. There you go. It's pretty easy. Just pop it out. And it will come off like this. And then you just unscrew this portion here, put in some batteries, and you are good. And uh, yeah, let's put a head on it. Let's put a different head on it. Let's put the master mold. <laughs> this thing is huge, dude. Um, it's gigantic. The master mold makes it even taller as it is the bigger head out of the four. So that's really cool. It's just standing here. Giant head and all. <laughs> but yeah, attention to detail all around this. Nothing has been missed wires and tubes all around really nice got the metallic silver up here and matte matte gray down here like i said there are differences in texture and colors which is really cool i uh, got the blue wire yellow wire different colored wires going around here got the pink plastic for his thigh area really really nice and then purple plastic going down which is cool everything ba basically everything moves on this figure it's great and they even put detail under his feet like, I wasn't lying when I said they didn't miss a spot on this figure. Like, everything is detailed, which is really cool. So, yeah, you got the bottom of the feet even detailed with paint and sculpt and everything. Um, and, yeah, there's just so much to this. Now, the only downfall I'm sure you guys have heard from this figure is the weak knees. Now, mine somewhat has weak knees, and there are ways to fix it. Now, I know a lot of people's... Uh, are very 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 weak which is not good considering it's a three foot tall figure if it falls that is not good in any regard uh, no matter where you place it and I believe the way to fix it is just by popping these out with a screwdriver or something and then tightening it I'm not sure if you guys can see that hopefully you can but you just pop it out with something and tighten it with a screwdriver and it should work as a temporary fix that's something to look out for especially for the three foot tall figure you don't want this falling um, but yeah, that's really the only downside of this. Everything else is great about this. Even the fingers have articulation. Everything moves. Everything has detail. It is awesome. Let's take a look at the hands. Got the repulsors down here. And then the fingers, like I said, move. Each finger has like four points of articulation. It's crazy. Um, and yeah, this thing's just really nice overall. So much detail all around. Nothing was missed with this figure. This was a really cool thing that Hasbro did. Now, it was $350, I think, around that price point. So it was pretty pricey uh, if you were to get this. It's really hard to find a spot for this thing, but I'm sure it will find its spot in your collection. Um, I'm sure I'm still figuring it out with the X-Men. And uh, yeah, I don't know where to put this thing, but <laughs> we will figure it out. There's so much detail all around this. It's just overwhelming. Uh, it's great. So before I get into the articulation, actually, let me show you guys the accessories and all the... Uh, different heads on it so here we have the regular head back on uh, you guys saw this already it's the regular sentinel head looking cool it's just the one on the packaging back here and then here we have the master mold you guys just saw that one let me pop it back on just for reference uh with these smaller heads though it's it feels tougher to take them off the master mold one kind of just slipped off um but yeah th there's the master mold one there you go looking huge it's the biggest head out of the four and then, yeah, like I said, this one just kind of slides off. The other ones you're going to have to, like, really push. Um, but here is the battle-damaged one. Pop this one back. It's basically the same thing as the regular head. So there you go. There is the battle-damaged head looking battle-damaged. Uh, so that's how that one looks on the body. Not typically, obviously, if it's battle-damaged, you'll have them laying down. But there that is, standing. And then let's take this one off. Oh, yeah, forward. Forward makes more sense to take that off. Uh, and then here is the Tri-Sentinel head. 
the triple head sentinel let's put that on yeah there you go so you really got to push for this um yeah here's the tri sentinel head it got the yellowish side with the this <laughs> i don't know what it's called but yeah there's that side and then you spin the head you got the silver side and then spin it again you get this side with the blasters in the mouth so that's really cool like i said earlier i believe this is the wrong body for the tri sentinel but it looks cool nonetheless no matter what uh, so yeah let's just leave that head on for now let's mess around with the wires so here you have the one of the uh sentinel tentacle wire thingies so obviously there's a port on the end and you kind of just put it into the hands yeah there you go it's plugged in now obviously you could pose it around i'm not going to do it for the sake of time here but you could just plug that in and then bend it however you'd like i do have wolverine out of my shelf right now to show you guys how this could work um so here is wolverine the marvel legends blue wolverine and you could just wrap it around. Um, it's pretty easy. It's just bendy wire. It's meant to be wrapped and played with. I did it terribly, but there you go. There's an example of an X-Men being grabbed by Sentinel. Now, if you guys didn't know, the Sentinels are the one that hunt down the X-Men. So, yeah, this would make sense <laughs> um, in case you didn't know. So, yeah, there's just a lot of posability with this three-foot Sentinel. So now I will be getting into the articulation all right so for the articulation of this sentinel there is a lot a lot a lot a lot of articulation <laughs> um so the head is on a ball joint it moves up this much and moves down this much not much movement there to be honest but it moves <laughs> it's on a ball joint like i should obviously since it's on a ball joint it can move however you want it's kind of hard to move it without the neck moving though so the neck does do a 360 movement like I showed you earlier uh, when I took the head off originally. So there's that. And then as for the arms, this piece kind of moves, the shoulder pads. It's not supposed to, but it only moves for the sake of the arm being able to move and not just being stuck in place. So it can move out this much with this moving. And then it could do 360. The shoulder pad comes with it, so that's a nice touch so that it really won't hinder anything. Got the bicep swivel there has a bicep rotation things huge and still has bicep rotation and then i got the double jointed elbows that's kind of that's that's pretty neat that it has double jointed elbows i'm not gonna lie yeah there's that the double jointed elbows no rotation here you thought there was rotation there it's not uh but there is rotation at the wrist obviously you can move up and down like this got the ratchet joint like i showed you earlier with the battle damaged hand and then each finger has rotation, or not, yeah, actually rotation, yeah. Rotation and ratchet joints, uh, the thumb, each one can do 360, uh, so that's cool. And then each one moves like a human finger, maybe not since it can move back, but it does have the basic movements and more of a human finger. Got the top finger, obviously, can move in and out this much. Got the middle part, move in and out this much, and the bottom portion, move in and out this much. Same thing for every hand that is not battle damaged. I showed you guys the battle damaged articulation earlier. And then as for the diaphragm joint, I have not moved this yet. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, he does have diaphragm joint. It's pretty hard to move. Uh, but yeah, he has it. Just trust me on that. It's really hard to move, not going to lie. Um, but it, it's there. It's there. And he can move back this much and then move not much forward to be honest unless i'm not getting it it just won't really move forward it clicks forward once but it's not moving much more than that so i don't know if i'm just doing it wrong but i, I don't think it moves forward that much uh as for the legs it can kick out this much and then kick back this much and then he has double jointed knees and i think he has uh thigh rotation yeah he does so thigh rotation and then nothing down here but he does have the ankle movement that can move down this much and can move up this much. This little piece up here moves. Um, this little croc looking thing. It can move with the ankle if you wanted to. And it even has ankle rocker. So that's nice. And uh, yeah, I believe that is all the articulation I could show you guys on this. I did not do the best at articulation in this area because it is pretty hard to move. But 
I tried and that is the articulation for the Sentinel. All right guys, so I know this was not my best review. <laughs> I really did struggle on this, but you'd have to give me some kind of leeway because I'm not in my regular station. I was standing, I was moving all around. So I know this was not my best review. I tried my best though, uh, considering it's a three foot tall figure on the carpet next to my shelves. So yeah, if this wasn't my best review, I apologize, but I did try. Um, so yeah, this was a pretty different review, but anyways, this is really cool. It's just such a cool figure to own. And I can't really say that I recommend it considering it was only available during the campaign, but if you guys did pick one up for yourself, I'm sure you guys are just as glad to have it as me. Uh, everything it came with, like this head and all the other heads and all the, the tentacles and the small figures. The, it's just such a cool thing that they decided to add more tiers and just do this to begin with. So, yeah, everything that came with the Sentinel is just awesome. Uh, it's just so cool to have. And if you missed out on it, I'm sure there will be more opportunities to have this. Now, if you have one yourself, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you think I missed anything in this review, which I probably did considering I did not really know what to say about this thing. Um, let me know down in the comments below. I will be gladly answering any of your questions if you have any. I have not done one of these in a while and it's, it's kind of weird doing this setup for reviews. But like I said, I tried my best. So... Yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for supporting the videos. Uh, there will be more coming, so see you guys.